How has this past week been after, obviously, what was a momentous occasion or something? Yeah, it's been good. Um, obviously, I think the the, the, the kind of achievement of, of Sunday and um, it was pretty special. And obviously, after the game, we all kind of celebrated and let it sink in a little bit how, how kind of big it was. Um, obviously, with the cup final, but obviously it been a, a derby as well. So, you know, delighted to kind of win that game, get the first kind of silverware in the bag for the season, and now looking to, to really kind of kick on. I think I was watching some behind the scenes footage in the dressing room, and the manager said that you all had the, the day off the next day. Was that unexpected? <laughs> If, I think there would have been some words if we didn't get given the day off, but uh, yeah, it was good. Um, it was really good celebrations always after in the, in the, the next day. Yeah, I think there was a couple, me included, but uh, yeah, it was good. Um, celebrations like that in the dressing room and stuff, you need to kind of take advantage of them when they come along. How much of a lift does just getting your hands on the first piece of silverware give the whole squad in terms of self-belief, in terms of continuing this incredible run that Celtic have been on, in terms of just claiming domestic trophy after domestic trophy? Yeah, it's, I think it's probably, obviously, for, for the League Cup, everyone talks about how kind of early it comes in the season. Um, and I think so when you go in and kind of win it, it's, it's a really good kind of confidence booster so early in the season, like you said, to, to get silverware so early. Just wants you to, to go and achieve more and gives you the kind of taste of it, especially for all the kind of new boys that have come in over the summer. That's their kind of first trophy winning with the club. That gives them the kind of extra incentive to go and do it again. And um, Yeah, like I said, it's for this early in the season, it's nice to um, you know have a kind of trophy wrapped up and yeah, it pushes you on for, for the rest of the season. I think a lot of people felt that it would be a sort of defining match in terms of obviously this massive tussle between Celtic and Rangers this season. But given the nature of the match, obviously Rangers had a lot of chances in the game. Um, there's been so much talk about the match as well. I mean, does it just underline how big a battle it's going to be between both clubs this season? Yeah, I think you can see that, you know, not just from Sunday, but the, the, the whole kind of season so far. I mean, you know, both teams have done very well in Europe. Um, you know the, the league title's very close, and obviously, you know we, we we managed to get the win on Sunday. But by no means do we see that as kind of defining. We know there's there's a, a long, long season ahead of us to go. Um, yeah, even even the month of December, there's so many games before now and the end of the season that that um, the break. Sorry, that you know plenty plenty of things can change. So um, it's definitely not kind of time to rest our laurels. And um, yeah, obviously after Sunday, like you said, it was. It's definitely one of our, our tougher games against Rangers and we had to probably show a different side to our game, a bit more kind of resilience to, to, to get over, but um, I think it kind of gave us an extra confidence that we did that. Will it make the next Old Firm match even bigger? They're always going to be big, I think. Um, you know, it's it's kind of back to obviously the, the league, the next one, and um, you know, it'll be nice for us to, to have it at Celtic Park, that's for sure. Um, it's always nice to be at home in these big games and have the majority of the crowd, so... Um, I'm sure when that comes along we'll all be looking forward to it just as much as we're looking forward to Sunday but like I said there's so many games in kind of December it's just you kind of get your head down and focus one game on another and they seem to kind of fly by. There's been obviously a lot of debate about the, the winning goal in the cup final. Uh, Grask you about VAR technology, would you be a fan of VAR technology in Scottish football? Uh, I'm a bit on the fence with it to be honest. Um, Obviously, there's, there's been so much talk of it down in um, the English Premier League and um, the kind of um, yes and no's of it. F for me, obviously, when it comes to yes or no decisions, um, I think it's very useful. Um, but it's maybe sometimes when there's kind of the, the grey area and the rules and when it's still coming down to opinion of somebody who's watching it, then that's when you can kind of get caught up in it a little bit. So um, I probably... Um, you know, not the most important opinion to ask if it's going to come in or not, but um, yeah, like if that's the way football's moving um, and this kind of our league wants to keep up with the rest of the big leagues in European football, then you know, one day it might be in this league and it might be something we have to face. Are you glad it wasn't in place on Sunday? Uh, I'm going to say yes, um, but look, it's you know, um, to me, I think there's definitely been more blatant. You know, offside decisions um, for and against in in the past. I think this one's very kind of minimal. Um, 
And then, to be fair, I think uh, it's, a, it's a good finish by Chris, so we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. In terms of this weekend's matches, I mean, obviously the attention turns back to the top of the table, Tussle, which is hugely intriguing, obviously. Celtic obviously now with an advantage in terms of points at this moment in time. Uh, Rangers play Motherwell away from home at uh, 12 o'clock, kick off on the Sunday. Um, how does that shift the dynamic? Obviously, you take on Hibs after the game, you'll know what the Rangers' result is. Yeah, we've had a, a kind of few of them now, obviously, with the European games on the Thursday with both us and, and Rangers playing that, um, you know, it's kind of been a bit vice versa, maybe us having an early kick-off than them, so, um, you know, either way going into it, you, it's probably too close to, to to focus too much on the other result, you're you're completely focused on your own kind of game, um, especially at the weekend, we've got a big, big game against Hibs, who are starting to find a bit of form again, so... Um, they're they're a big club in this country. They'll, they'll come with um, you know an appetite to win on Sunday, um, and then obviously after um, last Sunday's success, and we'll have a game tonight. We need to be back on it domestically. So um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. But in terms of the other result, we'll just wait and see after our game's done. You've had a fantastic season yourself personally. Was it a welcome chance to have a bit of a break from the European exertions? Obviously, Neil Lennon's left you in Scotland here. Uh, for the match in, in Romania to obviously get you fresh as fresh as could be for, for the Hibs match. Yeah, it's 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 nice. Um, you know, it's you, you know, one side of it. You want to, you want to play every game as many games as you can, but you know sometimes you need to take a kind of back step. And if there's a, a, um, a possibility to maybe have a rest, um, you, you might have to take it. Especially like I said, with with the, the massive kind of month we've got coming up in December. Um, got into a big push from from everyone, so um, yeah, I think we're we're happy the way the kind of the the group turned out. We obviously done very well, and um, we've managed to afford ourselves this kind of luxury with how well we've done in the the first kind of few games. But um, don't get me wrong, all the the boys playing tonight will be playing for for their place in the team uh, with, with so many games coming up. In terms of Hibs, I don't know how much you've had a chance to to see them. In terms of action this season, maybe a bit of highlights here and there. Obviously, Jack Ross has come in. Um, he's got three wins over the last five matches. What do you expect from them at Celtic Park? A good game, like I said, just there. I think they'll they'll come with an intent. Um, I'm a big fan of Jack Ross. Um, the, the when he was at St Mirren, I think he did probably absolutely incredible incredible job there. And um, you know, I felt kind of a bit unlucky from that. It didn't really work out at Sunderland. Um, but yeah, like I said, Hibs are kind of starting to bounce back now, and and so they should be because they are obviously such a, a massive club in this country, um, and you you know you expect them to be a, a really tough game when you play them home or away. So um, yeah, I'm sure they'll they'll be a tough tough fixture. You've seen Scott Allen at, at close quarters here at Celtic. Obviously, he looks like he's getting back to something like his best in in recent matches for Aberdeen. Some of his passing has been outstanding, especially in that last match. Um, yeah, how big a talent is he from what you've seen, and you've seen him probably closer than anybody else. Yeah, he's a he's a big talent. I don't think anybody at the club's surprised that you know now that he's he's kind of got his regular run of games and he's he's probably one of the first names of the team sheet for Hibs at how well he's doing and um, you know like you said there the kind of especially the past last last week a great assist for him um, and it's not the kind of the first time he's he's shown that this season so. Um, you know he's one of the many players that, that Hibs have got that can that can hurt us and something we probably need to be aware of. Um, obviously, you know we we know Scotty more uh, better than, than most of the other players at Hibs. So, um, like I said, we need to make sure that we're we're ready for um, this kind of threat. You're at international level these days. Does he have that potential as well? Still, would you say Scott Allen? Has he has he got that level to go to still? Yeah, um, I don't see why not. I think he's he's. Um, I think the the run of form he's starting to get um, is would definitely help him. I think that's probably a, a big part in international football. Where um, you know there's a lot to be said for 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 picking players that are in form. So if you you keep that form as high as possible for club level, then um, you know you put your your name in the hat to to be se- selected internationally. And um, you know him along with um, a lot of the other boys you saw kind of with, with Declan Gallagher. Um, you know, really finding form, playing very well, and he's he's taking his chance in the international stage. So, um, you know, it's kind of the doors open for for plenty more players to do that. I've got to ask you about your own season, Brian, because it's been pretty phenomenal. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Sixteen goals for Celtic 
this season, 17 in total, obviously scoring for Scotland as well. Um, I think earlier in the season we talked about targets and your targets and you're very, you keep your cards close to your chest, but have you, have you already exceeded your targets in terms of goal scoring? Can I ask you that? Uh, not yet, not yet. Um, I was more, my, my target was more between the start of the season and the break. Um, I've got a few more goals to reach that target, so hopefully I can do that, and then we'll see what we can do after um, January. But like, I'm I'm kind of loving it, loving playing. The gaffer's been brought to me. The kind of position I'm playing in, the the football we're playing is in a whole. I think it's um, really kind of fast flowing, attacking football. So for players like me, it's an absolute joy to play in. Um, and then it's it's about the kind of players around me. And, um, Everything all kind of coming together, and I'm lucky enough to, to be scoring a few goals in the end of that, so I'm happy. I was going to ask you about responsibility in terms of the team's attacking sense as well, but it, it sounds like from what you're saying, it's not something that really hangs heavy on your shoulders in terms of being the impetus, in terms of Celtic getting goals, it's just something that you're reveling in. Yeah, I think probably if you ask most attacking players, it's something they, they, they enjoy. I certainly enjoy that pressure of you know, needing to if score or, or create goals uh, in the final third. So um, I think when I went out on loan to Aberdeen, it was kind of the, f I started getting that feeling a little bit of kind of pressure to to do things on the ball. And, um, you know, that kind of helped me get used to it. And I came back for Celtic and like you said, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and it falls on, obviously not just me, the, the other attacking boys, but um, when, you, when you're playing and, and that kind of group of players, and we've all got confidence between each other in the way we're playing. Um, you know, it's it's nice to play. Just finally, Ryan. I mean, obviously, the last few seasons have been phenomenal for Celtic, but this season seems to be different as well in a successful way. Are Celtic at an even higher level level than they have been these past few seasons? Would you say? Uh, it's probably it's it's hard to tell. Um, you know, obviously, we can't speak highly enough of how how well we've done the last couple of seasons. Um, and obviously, getting the, the kind of trouble trouble last last season was something that probably nobody would ever have dreamt of. Um, but I think it's it's probably the mindset. It comes from the, the mindset. And it's a credit to the boys and the, the staff at the club to constantly keep pushing and. We said it after the first treble and the, the second one, it's just kind of a relentlessness and a kind of hunger to, to keep trying to get success for this club. Um, and I think the gaffer keeps pushing at the moment. You kind of look backwards of what, what you've done, that's when you can kind of get pushed off the top. So so we're we're ready to kind of keep pushing and hopefully bring more success. Has anybody uttered the phrase quadruple treble yet? Not yet. We are banned from saying those words in this building. <laughs> <laughs>